Hi everyone, Jai here, and I just got word from the Lilac Inn that they are running way behind on their Thanksgiving pies. So, let's help them. Mmm, it smells like someone's been baking pies. Pies are the Lilac Inn specialty. We get orders from all over. So, Lilac Inn's new specialty are actually the super cute mini mason jar pies. The first order is for a blueberry pie. So we're gonna start out with a clean mason jar. For the pies that I baked, I used store-bought pre-made pie crust. They actually package the crust really thick, and you wanna line the mason jars with a thin crust so that it can bake properly. I'll show you why later. If you take the strips and then flatten them out, you actually end up with a lot more pie crust, so you can make a lot more pies with these. Way more than four. Next, add the fruit filling. I'll leave the recipes for both the blueberry and the cherry below. I just put small pie strips on top that were left over from the crust, but if you want to get more detailed and do some lattice work, or also you could get a cookie cutter and cut out really fun shapes to put on top, you can totally do that too. Next, we're going to do the same thing, but this time add a cherry filling. You can make whatever fruit filling or pie filling you want. I just know that the Lilac Inn offers blueberry, cherry, and chocolate, so I wanted to make sure to get all of those. While these are baking, let's make some other fun desserts that also look really cute in the mason jars. Next up is a cherry cheesecake. Start off by making your graham cracker pie crust crumble. That's a mouthful. We also have a pretty small kitchen here, so I ended up using a coffee grinder to get the graham crackers down to the consistency I needed, which hey, it worked, and I'm sure it tastes the same, except maybe it'll have a hint of coffee bean. Add your cheesecake filling. Top it with the cherries from the pie and let it cool. The next is a chocolate cream pudding. I put chocolate cookies crumbled up down at the bottom and then scooped in some chocolate pudding. Next, I put whipped cream on top and called it good. All right, let's go get the blueberry pie and the cherry pie from the oven. Also, a hack is to pre-make these and then freeze them and bake them right before you have your guests over. So as I brought up in the beginning, it's really important to make sure that the pie crust is super thin for these. The cherry pie is a little underbaked. You can tell because the crust isn't cooked all the way through. It has a different texture and it's a little bit more yellow. But we'll just give this one to Carson Drew. I'm sure he'll be nice about it. All right guys, that wraps it up. We've got the four delicious pie pudding cheesecakes. All that's left is to go to the room. So have a happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you guys next time. Help celebrate our 20th anniversary and the holidays with these lilac in pies and by playing Secret of the Old Clock. Other great Nancy Drew games can also be found at herinteractive.com. Dare to play.